Ooh, ooh. Hey, Rock Cloud is back, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install an HP printer over the network uh, via IP address. Okay, so today I'm working with an HP PageWide Pro 577 model printer, um, nice laser jet. And what you're going to do first is you're going to assign a static IP address from directly on the printer from the unit itself. So right from the little display, you go through the settings, go to network settings, and you'll manually enter an IP address, your default gateway, and sometimes it will request a DNS entry as well. You save those settings. Once you have that printer powered up and configured with an IP address on your network, then simply you work your way to your server. Okay, so you go to your server, it's on your network. First thing you do is open up a command prompt. Okay, and we're going to ping the IP address that we assigned to the printer to make sure that it's live and it's responding. Okay, so we're going to do a ping and you're going to type in the IP address that you assigned your printer. In this case, it's 192.168.175.14. Okay. You do a space hyphen T, okay? That gives you a redundant ping, okay? So it's a continuous ping. Uh, so you ping your IP address, hyphen T, press enter. Okay, so we have a responsive printer on the network and it's responding well. So you know the printer is connected to the network, it's up and running. Next, we're gonna go open up Chrome and we're gonna do a search for our printer drivers just to make sure we have the, the most current available. So we're gonna do a search for HP PageWide Pro 577 drivers, press enter. Okay. You wanna make sure that you select the correct link. Like this is not Hewlett Packard. This is not a, a direct Hewlett Packard link, okay? Some of these links are phony. Be careful, be cautious. You want to click the links that start with support.hp.com, support.dell.com, usually that sort of thing. Um, you can select the printer. We get to the page. Okay. Okay, we're going to make sure that we download the driver. We're gonna change the OS to Windows Server 2012 R2 because that's what we're currently on. Okay, I'm gonna say change. My Windows Server version I'm running is Windows Server 2012 R2 and how you get that information is if you're able to run a command W-I-N-V-E-R Winver and you press enter and it pop, pops up with this box and it gives you the uh, information of the server that you're running or, you, or this even also works on the uh, Windows operating system for a client side for workstations. It gives you the um, operating system and will also give you the exact build that you're running here. Okay, this is version 6.3. Next, we're going to download the universal print drivers. Okay, we're gonna go for Windows. Let's go for the uh, PCL6 64-bit. Let's download this. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, it's gonna extract. I usually like to know where it's going, so it's going to this path here. I'm fine with that. So let's just say unzip. Okay, all the files unzip, unzip successfully. Press OK. Click click yes to continue. Um, now, when you get to this installation mode, you could just select traditional mode. Okay, it's looking for the printer. You can then select the printer that I want isn't listed. Okay, let's see. 
could add printer by IP address. Device type, I usually say TCP IP, and here you're gonna enter in the IP address of the printer you're trying to connect to, which in this case is 192.168.175.14. Okay. It comes up with the HP Universal PCL6 driver, the most current driver that we just downloaded. And you can make this any name you like. You share this printer on the network and how you're going to configure it for your users. This is the same name that they'll be printing to from their computer. So if you wanted to say um, HP reception, I like to associate the printer to where it, it, it ties into the office. So you could also name it HP reception or HP trading or you know whatever you guys uh, have in mind for the printing just keep in mind that the users will also use the same name for where they print So once you name it, you, you know pretty much sticks with everybody. So you want to just keep it as is So we're going to go with HP copy station For this one, it's going to install the drivers Okay, finally the printer has installed onto the uh, server. This is the file print server, so we're gonna able to uh, select the option to share this printer so others can find and print it. You can install it from the user's workstation on your network. So we're gonna say share this printer. That's the share name I'm keeping. You could comment here if you wanna specifically assign a location um, you know, within the notes. I'm going to say next. I've successfully added the HP copy station. You can do a print test page. I'm just going to finish at this point. And let's expand our devices and printers. And you're going to see here that my device is installed and it's set as the, uh, the default HP copy station. The HP PageWide Pro 577DW printer is now installed as the uh, primary company uh, printer. So if you go to your printer options, you right click on your printer, go to printer options. Okay, you can go through the tabs and this is where you'll see the ports. Okay, this is the TCP IP port that's assigned to the uh, to this printer 192.168.175.14. Okay, that's the uh, the IP that we've been pinging and that's the IP that we assigned on the uh, actual uh, printer what you would like to do also is go back to your copy station properties select sharing and you want to click list in directory you do want to enable that option so on the workstation side when you add the printer it pops up in the list as a selection and you could you know you could highlight that printer and install for each user I would say apply and okay. Right. You can also right click, say see what's printing. Print brings up the queue. So you can manage the print queue and you can kill jobs as necessary if you have any issues. And that's that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, this is the HP PageWide Pro 577. Just remember that any network printer will follow these same instructions. Okay, you get your printer, you unbox it. You, conf you plug it in and, and, and configure it. You assign an, I an IP address on the printer, in the settings of the actual printer. Leave it connected to the network. Then you go to your server and you start running the ping test. Okay, to the IP address you assigned the printer, make sure it's responsive, and then you follow the steps that we just did to install the printer on the server and share it network wide across the domain so this way you can have access to this printer for all users all right but these instructions are going to follow across across the board for any print that you install in the network and that's basically it hey i'm rock cloud it would be great if you could please subscribe it really helps me stay alive here Just keep the channel live on youtube i'm rock cloud i'm out thanks for watching